In this video, we're going to review how to solve a linear system. A linear system is two linear equations that you're trying to solve at the same time. In other words, you're trying to find the one pair of numbers, x and y, that will make both equations true. I have two examples here for this video, one that's extremely easy and one that's slightly harder, and we're going to review both of those, and then I'll have you try one of each kind. There are several different ways to solve a linear system, but one of the easiest ways is by adding the equations together. So when I take a look at these two linear equations, I'm just going to add them together. x plus 2x is 3x. Notice when I add them together, positive y and negative y give me 0. There's nothing here. There's 0y. They cancel. And over here, 5 plus 1 is 6. So when we added these equations together, notice that the y's were eliminated, which is great, because now we can go ahead and solve for x. If we know that 3x is equal to 6, we'll just divide both sides by 3, and now we have solved for one of our variables. We know that x is equal to 2. In order to find the other variable, you simply take one of the equations. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to take this first one here. And since now I know that x is equal to 2, I'm going to put a 2 right there and ask myself, 2 plus what gives me 5? That one we can probably solve in our heads. We know that 2 plus 3 is 5, so y has to be equal to 3. So one of the easiest ways to solve a linear system is to add the equations together. Slight problem. On this one, we added them together. The y's were eliminated, which was great. In this next example, which is slightly harder, if we were to add them together right now, I would get 3x and x, 4x, and 2y plus y, 3y equals 10. And now I'm s still stuck. I haven't made any progress in solving the system. Why? Because when I added them together, I still had both variables left. So I have yet a third equation, and I'm not anywhere closer to a solution. So when you're trying to solve a linear system, before you add the equations together, you have to make sure that when you add them, one variable is going to be eliminated. The reason that happened in this first example was because y and negative y would cancel each other out. The reason it didn't happen in this example is because nothing is lined up to cancel each other out. So in this harder example, the first thing we have to do is we have to multiply one of the equations by some number, which will allow us to cancel out one of the variables. So for example, see how there's a 2 right here? If there was a negative 2 down here, that would be great. Because if there was a negative 2 down here, when I added the equations together, the y's would cancel. So in order to get that to be a negative 2, I'm going to take this entire second equation, and I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 2. So let's see what happens. The top equation I'm not going to touch. It's fine the way it is. And on the bottom equation, when I multiply by negative 2, I'll have negative 2x. Negative 2 times y is negative 2y. Negative 2 times 10 is negative 10. Now, if I were to add these equations together, look what happens. 3x and negative 2x is 1x and check out what happens with the y's. They cancel out. 2y and negative y cancel. 5 and negative 10 is negative 5. And we just got part of our solution. Now we know that x is equal to negative 5. And again, if I want to find out what y is, I simply have to take any of the equations on the board. It doesn't matter which one. Any of them will do. I'm going to plug in a negative 5 for x, and I'm going to find out what y is. This one here, to me, looks like a nice, easy equation. So I'm going to put a negative 5 there for x. That tells me negative 5 plus y is equal to 5. I want y by itself, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So y is equal to 10. So my solutions are x is negative 5 and y is equal to 10. All right, so I'm going to dry, write two on the whiteboard for you to try. I'll try an easy one and one that's a little bit harder.
Okay, so here are two for you to try. Uh, this one, pretty easy. This one, a little bit harder. So press pause, give it a try, and we'll come back and work out the solution. All right, so let's take a look at this first one. On this first one, we notice that the y's are lined up perfectly. When we add these equations together, the y's are going to be canceled. So let's check that out. x plus x is 2x, but negative y and y is 0. So the y has been eliminated. And here we have 3 plus 7, 10. So remember, our goal is to be able to add the equations together and get one of the variables to be eliminated, which we just did. Why is that a good thing? Because now we can go ahead and solve for this variable. We'll divide both sides by 2. And so now we know that x is equal to 5. Remember that for a solution, you have to solve for both variables. So now that we know that x is 5, we're going to find out what y is. You can pick either of these equations. It won't matter. I'm just going to pick this one right here. And I'm going to let x equal 5. So this one we can probably do in our head as well. 5 plus y is 7. So 5 plus what is 7? y has to be equal to 2. And if you weren't sure about that, you could always just solve this by using algebra, subtract 5 from both sides. And again, you'll get y is equal to 2. In this system, if we were to add them together right now, it wouldn't be helpful because x would not be eliminated and y would not be eliminated. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply one of the equations by some number so that we're going to be able to eliminate one of the variables. Now, you could have chosen either to eliminate x or y. I'm going to eliminate x. You may have chosen to eliminate y. We should come up with the same answer in the end. So see how there's a 2 here? What I would love would be if this was a negative 2. So I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by negative 2. One of the most common mistakes is to forget to do both sides. So make sure you multiply both sides by negative 2. The top equation we're not going to touch. In the bottom equation, we're going to have negative 2x minus 6y is equal to negative 10. Now we're going to add these together. Notice that 2x minus 2x is 0. They canceled. They were eliminated. y and negative 6y is negative 5y. 5 and negative 10 is negative 5. If we solve this by dividing both sides by negative 5, we've just learned that y is equal to 1. Once we know that y is equal to 1, we can come back to any equation on, on the board in this problem and put 1 in for y. I'm going to put it right here. That says x plus 3 times 1, 3, is equal to 5. We'll subtract 3 from both sides. <coughs> Excuse me x is equal to 2. And so our solution, final answer, would be x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 1. And that's a quick recap on solving a system of equations.